next week as we're doing some celebrating. Hopefully we will be keeping an eye on this next storm system. Our next chance of winter weather for Tuesday of next week, but in between now and then all eyes on Sunday bill over to you. All right, got a new crash working here. Aaron west side of the uh, of the metro here. I think it's going to be southbound K7 about 47th Street. That's that second uh, interchange south of the Kansas River on K7. A lot of activity working here. So heads up Bonner Springs Shawnee residents uh, for this latest crash there. Also working still southbound I-35 at 67th. They just cleared that one there before 75th Street. And there you can see in blue the accident on K7. Inbound I-35 still doing pretty good here. Closer to downtown I-70 looks great. And the bunch up there northbound I-35 is gone. A little slow still northbound on the Bruce R. Watkins westbound 435 has popped wide open though out of the triangle. Stay connected at KCTV5.com and with our free mobile app Better Kansas City is coming up next. Look at the room you're in. It's filled with people you know. People you love. People who've been affected by sexual assault. Yes, people in this room. This room. Rooms everywhere. One in five Kansans will experience sexual assault in their life. It's time to transform these rooms by starting the conversation in this room. There's a lot to think about over 12 years, but your Dyke and Heating and Cooling System won't be on the list. With AB May's 12 year warranty, you can focus on what matters most. Call today about our specials. Call your servicemen from AB May. For the latest health news and tips, log on to kctv5.com slash HCA Midwest. With Better Kansas City and It's Your Health, the physicians and staff of HCA Midwest Health System are keeping you informed. Break free with no enrollment fee at Genesis Health Clubs. Break free from I can't do it. Break free from maybe tomorrow. Break free from every reason why not. Break free with no enrollment fee at Genesis Health Clubs. Break free for you, your goals, your fun, your classes, your luxury fitness experience, your reasons to succeed. Break free with no enrollment fee at Genesis Health Clubs. GenesisHealthClubs.com Kansas City Ballet presents the enchanting Swan Lake. For more than 100 years, Swan Lake has mesmerized audiences with the magical tale of love, betrayal, and redemption. Dance to the captivating Tchaikovsky score played by the Kansas City Symphony with stunning sets and magnificent costumes. Every lovely detail will delight. Don't miss this timeless love story February 14th through the 23rd at the Kaufman Center. Get tickets now at kcballet.org. Is your furnace ready to tackle another cold Kansas City winter? Better call Bob and get your $79 system check. Your team is counting on you. Wow, how's that for peace of mind? Call 888-4POV. Remember 913. Get a stair lift in your home for as little as $3 a day. Let a stair lift make your stairs safe for you and your loved ones. Mobility First can install a stair lift in any home for as little as $3 a day. Relax and know you're safe. Call Mobility First today. Welcome to wow. Better Kansas City on the <laughs> biggest Red Friday of them all. And how about that open? I'm pumped up. Great. I am ready to go. So I think it started out this mm -hmm. morning as this is the biggest Red Friday of my lifetime. Of and that's lifetime? all I've seen on of my all. social media feeds all morning. Everybody's like they haven't had a bigger Red Friday than this one we're having today. I mean, we're so excited and everything is decked out. You can see we might be even snacking throughout the show because look at these brownies, unforgettable, brought to you by hy V mm -hmm. and Bill, it looks like you already got into the chips. You know what? The, we're hitting the chips early. <laughs> we're just watching TV with you guys. It's fun. But no, I might have already snuck a brownie earlier today. But again, yeah, thanks to our partners at hy V. Have some great Check shirts. out this shirt. This actually yeah. says Kansas City. So that's spelled a little incorrectly, but it's still yeah, fine. Right? It's fun. And uh, this was the one that I wanted to wear, but they told me it, it wouldn't it wouldn't fit. I mean, it's a onesie. So. Sizing, sizing you know. different there. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit different, um, but you know what? 
It's fun. So I think it's the big wonderful. chatter around uh, around like a lot of the offices and everything today, at least around here, is like, what are you guys doing for the game on Sunday? What are your plans? What do you What do you yeah. get to? So I'll be going over to my friends Pam and Connor's house. Uh -huh. So they're having a little watch party, and uh, you know I'm just really excited for that. I know a lot of people heading downtown to Power and Light, different areas. There's so many hot spots. Yeah. I mean Tanner's. So many places playing. I mean, with uh, with with Power and Light hosting their big party and the big screens there, blocking today. off Grand. Well, yeah, that's the pep well, rally today. But then the watch party on Sunday yeah. is going to be a whole another monster, you know. Mm -hmm. And then with all the other places, of course, like you said, all the little the bars and, and establishments having their own watch party is going to be great. See, I what's think, your plan, Bill? I think I'm a creature of habit. And I was a baseball player first, so mm -hmm. I'm extremely superstitious about superstitious stuff. Superstitious guy. So I want to sit in the same spot that I watched the divisional playoff game, mm -hmm. that I watched the AFC championship game, and that's right in my little special spot on my couch with the kids, you know, playing playing Legos yeah. and, and me watching the game and jumping up and cheering real loud when something good happens. Well, I'm just I'm just so excited for this moment because growing up in a Chiefs family, you know, my dad could name every member of Super Bowl IV's team. Yeah. And I mean, just watching the Chiefs my entire life, like get to this moment, we're sitting there counting down the sleeps. I mean, Sunday can't get here soon enough. Yeah. Obviously the snacks, all of the fanfare, it's just all gonna be great. It's gonna be super fun, and uh, we've got a big, uh, big fun-filled show mm -hmm. for you today with everything you need uh, for your party at home, especially uh, some of the fun mm -hmm. DIY decor items. If, uh, can I reach behind you here? I wanna yeah. show you this pillow. So. This was just, you think, oh, it's a great looking pillow. This is a very simple DIY. I can't get more simple than it's this. Our, it's our uh, <laughs> normal pillow just wrapped in a high V conference champion shirt right there. How about that? So there you That's go, perfect. easy easy DIY project right there. But we also got our friend mm -hmm. our Audrey Keither here in the house, and she's got some other fun uh, DIY decor uh, projects for the game on Sunday. Yeah, and the thing that you love about this is you can have a really special party, and mm -hmm. with minimal effort, yeah. very easy hacks, your party can be over the top, and we're so excited for all that. Mm -hmm. Now also, we're gonna talk about Big Game Punch, and actually I think they've kind of switched up the name to be the Chiefs Kingdom Cocktail, so okay. get ready for that. We're also gonna go hard with a pepperoni <laughs> cheese ball, and it's, all right. we, you may be, here, here's a tea you may even be able to go long with this cheese ball. There we go. Also, uh, with, with staying in the kitchen theme, we're going to be cooking up some Reuben potato mm -hmm. skins and everything bagel hot dogs. Yeah. That's, I'm sold right there. That's all I need. I mean, I'm, I'm here for that. And we're also going to have a Chiefs Quiz Bowl. You're and our third friend down. and producer mm -hmm. Dante is going to come and moderate to make sure that there's a no collusion and <laughs> no cheating, none of that going on. He's going to be moderating for us. Fantastic news. I can't wait to see how, how much smarter you are than I am. So. Well, Bill, you're, <laughs> you're probably going to go ahead and win this round. But, you know, Kansas Early City, Early predictions are in Kansas City. Just wait for it. It's coming up in a few minutes. I don't know about that. So. Okay, so all right. we all know February. <laughs> February 2nd isn't just any Sunday. It is Super Sunday and party time. The Chiefs Kingdom will be rocking, but you don't have to spend a lot to make your party stand out. That's right. Uh, oh, so lovely blogger Audrey Keither is here with fun and easy DIY ways to up your decor for the big game. So let's go ahead and pop the cold one yes. and get started, right? No, just <laughs> Not kidding. so cold right now. Not so cold right now. Still okay, <laughs> yeah. though. So you've got some fun projects uh, lined up for us yep. today. What? Where do we, first off, which one do you want to start on and what uh, supplies do we need to get yeah, started? Yeah, so I'm going to start by showing you this really easy banner I made, as you see, right up front. I made okay. two and I kind of layered them together. Um, super easy, and all you're using is either craft paper or there's like a craft foam you can do. Yeah. I found these dishes at Party City. I found a bunch of little fun party props, and I just used this to trace onto brown foam. Okay. So this is going to be the football banner. All you're doing, I went ahead and just pre-drew it with a pen. Okay. And if you want to just cut that out. I do. I, yeah. I'm going to try. <laughs> and so then um, you can get some white tape. The thinner the better. I had a little bit of a thicker one, so I had to kind of cut it up a little bit to make it thinner. Right. Then you're just going to ta use tape for your laces. So you do like a long line and then just maybe two or three across. Laces in or laces out, Audrey? Uh, laces in. Laces out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so you'll do that, and however many you want to cover the width, I think I did like six to yeah. eight. And then above that, I did a really easy pennant, so all you're doing is cutting triangles out of this craft foam. This came from a, a dollar store. So. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to cut the football out. Yeah, yeah so. you know, it takes, it takes time to make it perfect. Mm -hmm. um, you'll do the same thing here. You'll just cut it into a triangle, you'll see here, and it doesn't have to be perfect, and you can either just leave okay. it as is, you know, you don't, yeah, you can just... Oh, you didn't draw the no, lines on this one. I didn't okay. cheat this one this time. So yeah, just a big triangle. An isosceles triangle, or yeah, doesn't sure. matter. Sure, it doesn't matter. Really, okay. do do your own thing. Um, and then, so what you'll do is, you know, I wanted to spell chiefs, and I actually had 
some of these from a segment I did a while back was when oh, I did some yeah. jean jackets. So I just um, hot glue because you can't use an iron on on these foam guys because it'll melt. It'll melt it. But sure. I just use a little bit of hot glue and I glued on the letters for each one. Okay. So I was able to kind of recycle some stuff I already had. Is that had. too big or too small? No, you or? can do many ones too. And I think if you have like you know any cute like foods, you could have a little pennant flag above it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you can do is. a mini one. Perfect. So all you're doing there is taking your hole punch. Okay. And at the top corners, you're just going to punch it through, which I'll just. I'll do let right you there. do that. Yeah, I'll do that part. And then you take whatever kind of ribbon string you have on hand. I just found this in my craft drawer. I have a lot of okay. a lot of junk in my drawers. But um, <laughs> then uh, don't you'll we just all <laughs> punch through here and you'll flip it through the back. Okay. So you don't see the. Oh yeah, so you don't side. see it. So yeah. you just come in like. And one. I kind of got a little close to the edge. That's okay. Yeah, it'll we'll still make it work. work. Yeah, so you do that. You know, five, six times, however, whatever you want to spell out, mm -hmm. and then you're done. And you just, ta I just taped it to my wall with this kind of heavy duty white tape that yeah. I'm using for the laces. But so, then boom, you have a yeah, fun little exactly. pendant so, there. You hang yeah, there. a little miniature version. Well, and, well, just like so you said, the stuff you have laying around the house. Exactly. Yeah, and um, like I used some of Vivi's craft foam. She didn't seem to mind. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then the football. All you're going to want to do. I pre-cut some. This white tape comes a little thicker, which kind of takes up too much space, in my opinion. You could do oh, that. Oh, okay. So just cut it in doing, half. Just, yeah, I cut it in half, so it's not perfect. But then you're just popping these guys on. You could do two or three, whatever fits. And then you'll, um, I, what I use on these instead of the whole punch is I'll just clip this to the string. You know, I use these for my holiday cards. Oh, and yeah. Hands, so just kind of have those around the house. So Super cool. Super fun, so right? then just put that on your same banner then, right? Yeah, you can do two separate ones. I did two separate ones, but you can definitely alternate that with the pennant flags. You can get creative. Do I'm really trying to be creative. <laughs> you today. are. It's very early, but you're doing Audrey, a good job. Audrey, I'm, I'm inspired. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, and so you can also make like a DIY goal post. I found four dowel rods. Got my yellow mm -hmm. spray paint out, sprayed them, had a little <laughs> bit of craft foam I just pushed it down into, and I actually just hot glued these together here. This that morning. reminds me of the, uh, did you, are those the same dowel rods that you used when we made the Kerplunk yes. game earlier <laughs> this like summer? I like to recycle all my stuff. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. I love how you recycle everything. <laughs> try, That's a great you know, way to do it, so though, much right? Stuff. Yeah, and you could even use, like, you know, that little football game where you, yeah. you, know, you can have that be a game at your setup. Here, can I see that real Absolutely. fast? You keep talking. I'm going to try to make a field goal <laughs> yeah, real quick. See how this goes. I'm going to really Hopefully irritate knock her. Knock the whole thing down. All right, here we go. One. Oh to the games on the line. Oh, oh short to the right. No, Dang it. this guy. This is just a little funny. I took <laughs> one of those little stress ball footballs you can find. I just sprayed it gold, and I got a flower pot, flipped it upside down, and mm -hmm. it just kind of like a little trophy, you know. <laughs> just, That's all it just is, a, is a flower yeah. pot upside yeah, down, you and know, your foam football sprayed exactly. gold. And then you know you could get your uh, felt sheets, use the same tape, and use some mm -hmm. number stickers, and do like a mini field for like placemats. I mean, you could really get creative. Okay. And then look at these super cute cookies. Super cute yep, cookies. We, you got to have sweets at your yep. at your party, this right? So, so what are you guys staying at home and kind of having a big party? Yeah, there? we're no, we're just having a small family mm -hmm. thing. So I kind of I want to really watch the game. I don't really want to socialize. I know much. what's I'm that nervous. like. We actually know, have we a know. game to watch and, <laughs> and, and and be invested in rather than just exactly. watching the commercials and the yeah. halftime show. So, well, very cool. Thank you very much for being here for all the great. DIY tips. I'm glad I didn't have to use the, the hot glue gun over there yeah. and burn myself again. All right, Audrey, thank you so thank much. You. All right, sip, snack, and cheer. Coming up, see how to make a Chief's Kingdom cocktail as well as an epic cheese bowl. It's all about pepperoni love. And then a host has a friend doing the most to get under the skin for the big game. Is it wrong to party without her? You decide who's in the right because Dear Snarky definitely has an opinion. And plus, you don't need a fancy new TV to make watching the big game even better. You just need to know how to adjust your current TV to give you its best. It's easier than you might think. We're going to walk you through it. Better Kansas City is back in two minutes. helping neighbors no matter which side of the line you stand because we live in a place alive with possibilities so stand up and take notice stand apart stand proud because kctv5 news stands for you Once weekly, Ozempic is helping many people with type 2 diabetes like James lower their blood sugar. A majority of adults who took Ozempic reached an A1C under 7 and maintained it. Here's your A1C. Oh, my A1C is under 7. And you may lose weight. Adults who took Ozempic lost on average up to 12 pounds. I lost almost 12 pounds. Oh. Ozempic does not increase the risk of major cardiovascular events like heart attack, stroke, or death. There's no increased risk. Oh. And I only have to take it once a week. Oh. 
Ozempic should not be the first medicine for treating diabetes or for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not share needles or pens. Don't reuse needles. Do not take Ozempic if you have a personal or family history of medullary thyroid cancer, multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or if you are allergic to Ozempic. Stop taking Ozempic and get medical help right away if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, itching, rash, or trouble breathing. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Tell your doctor if you have diabetic retinopathy or vision changes. Taking Taking Ozempic with a sulfonylurea or insulin may increase low blood sugar risk. Common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and constipation. Some side effects can lead to dehydration, which may worsen kidney problems. Once weekly, Ozempic is helping me reach my blood sugar goal. You may pay as little as $25 per prescription. Ask your healthcare provider today about once weekly Ozempic. Welcome back. So Super Sunday, it isn't just about football, it's about food and drinks as well. And that's why Grill Mayor Craig Jones and Princess of Fire Gay Jones are both here to get our taste buds started for Absolutely. Sunday's game. Yeah. So you've actually brought in a Chief's Kingdom punch or Chief's Kingdom cocktail. cocktail the Chief's Kingdom okay. cocktail and Gay's going to show you how to make it. So easy and it's pretty, it's mm -hmm. tasty. And it's red. It's our favorite color, right? And it's red, yeah. yeah, and you can make it ahead for a crowd. Here's how easy this is. This is just cranberry juice cocktail, two cups of that. And cranberry juice cocktail, is this uh, something with the cranberry yep. juice? Yep, you can find okay. it at your favorite grocery store, like Hy-Vee. Mm -hmm. Add two cups of water, and then uh, just two or half a cup of your favorite vodka. Nice. And since we're celebrating a hometown team, why not make it a hometown vodka like Rieger? And then put in a little bit of drink mix flavoring, like uh, Crystal Light. A lot of people have that. So that's what I, I used to love. And I, I yeah. love that you guys are incorporating the cranberry because that's what so many people use as a base. Exactly. And it's festive and it's delicious. It smells. Put that all together in a pitcher, chill it in your fridge for about an hour, mm -hmm. then just before you're ready to serve, add just two cups of club soda. Okay. Makes it light and refreshing. Okay, that's perfect. And why do you guys like this cocktail in particular? Because I know there's there's a lot mixed in with just maybe a little bit of liquor. Yeah, so it's a little bit of alcohol. In fact, it's like a 12 to 1 ratio. So yeah. it's something that you could drink all during the game. You know, you got to make it past halftime, right? <laughs> right. So we, we, uh, we like to make sure that it's just a little bit in there. And, and you know what? You can also make a non-alcoholic version of this. Okay. So let's say instead of putting the half cup of vodka in there, just put another half cup of water in there and it's good, it's tasty, and it's not really super high calorie because we uh, we use the Crystal Light in it. Okay, right. and I love the Crystal Light, and I also think with this, some of those commercials might start looking a little bit more Yeah, funny. there yeah. you go. Can Perfect. I go ahead and try Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Give that a try. In this one? Nope, nope. Okay. You just so the, garnish it with a lemon wheel so you get the proper color combination, and you're good to go. Super festive. Chief's Kingdom cocktail. Yeah, well, you can definitely smell the cranberry, and it's delicious. It is. Okay. Beautiful. Now, this is what we can actually go along with, right? Oh, so yeah. This we're, is we're all in, right? I was going to say, this is so much better than any cheese ball I've seen. Yes, yeah. So, <laughs> the thing is, most of the time when you buy a cheese ball, mm -hmm. it's really hard. It's not very flavorful, and we just kind of buy them, I think, out of habit. Yeah. So, here's what I want it's you to do. It's an easy app. It's a, yeah, it's a, you go to the store and you buy it, mm -hmm. but nobody really enjoys it that much. So, I'm going to show you how to make one at home that's soft, it's flavorful, it's fun. It looks Obviously, like a football. Looks like a football. <laughs> Come on. So all related to the big game. So very easy to do. So okay. we're gonna start with, first of all, to make it interesting, I'm gonna use three different cheeses. Mm -hmm. So we've got some cream cheese, which you always want as your base. Yeah. I use um, some blue cheese, which I like to use as a base. And then this is a cheese that you can switch out every once in a while if you want. So right now we use Gouda, you can use smoked Gouda. Then we're gonna spice it up with some garlic mm -hmm. and then add a little acid here. And this is um, port wine. So two tablespoons okay. of port wine. So I haven't so, heard of port wine in something like a cheese ball before, but is that gonna give it some flavor dimension? Yeah, so what, you know, if you think about those, it's got fat, fat, fat. Okay. And so we want this acid to help cut through. Okay. So what we do is we're gonna take the um, cream cheese, put this in a food processor. We'll take, yeah, let's, Toss that blue cheese Toss in there. It? Come on, okay. get in there. Help us out. It's all the good stuff. Put that in there. Then we'll add, this is just one clove of garlic that we finely minced. Add that in there. And then this is the port wine, two tablespoons. And the aromas are really filling up, yeah, so yeah. I think it would get Smell anybody that right ready. right there. Right? You know, see how yeah. that, it really Looks changes great. the flavor. 
So what we'll do is we'll blend this. It'll take about a minute or so mm -hmm. to get really, really smooth. Then what you want to do is form this using a little bit of saran wrap, plastic wrap. Put it in the fridge for four hours. So you want to plan ahead on this mm -hmm. one. And then when you take it out, it's a lot harder. And at this point, what we can do is now, and I'm not very good at shaping it into a foot bomb. My, I have to admit, yeah. my wife did a, <laughs> a good job of that. Of yeah. the when I did it, it looked more like um, sort of a deformed mango. It was like a deflate yeah. gate situation. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Yeah. We don't do that in kids. No. <laughs> no. So, so then you can shape it into the football, roll it into some pepperoni that we chop. We mm -hmm. use some mozzarella strips to make the lacings. And oh. here it is. Well, Look at this. We're here for that. Now, can we can we uh, slice a bit off? Let's, yeah, let's cut it. some of that because off. Because I've, I've been smelling the cheese coming from the kitchen all morning. Yes. And it looks so good. So okay. you notice when you taste it, first of all, it's nice and soft. Mm. You got a little bit of that garlic. You get a little hint of that port wine cutting through. And you know what? This is something that you like to or like to eat and easy to make at home. Absolutely. A little planning. So, Craig and Gay, thank you so much. Of course. This is delicious, and that blue cheese, it's coming through. So, they're actually sticking around the show, and they're going to tell us how to make potato skins and hot dogs. They're all going next level.